histologic feature you see throughout this colon are these large dilated blood vessels in the submucosa, in the muscle layer, as well as in the serosa. This is the classical appearance of a hemorrhagic infarct of the colon. In some organs, like lung classically, infarcts could be very, very hemorrhagic. In some organs, like kidneys, for example, infarcts could be very anemic or non-hemorrhagic looking, depending on the way the arteries are basically arranged. In the colon, as you could see, the pattern of infarction would be hemorrhagic. You can understand that from the fact that all the layers of the colon have these large dilated blood vessels, this would be a hemorrhagic infarct. You can also appreciate the fact that because of the infiltrate of all these inflammatory cells, uh, probably chiefly neutrophils, but uh, certainly uh, I'm sure we could find some lymphocytes, that the overall integrity and strength of the colonic wall would be uh, compromised and therefore infarcted colons are at risk for perforating. <laughs>